Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm really excited to be talking about some new positive news that was shared in a recent Rocket League blog post, as well as discuss a possible release date for the new free-to-play update, since so many of you asked in my most recent video. But before we get started, I wanted to let you guys know about a new YouTube record I just set, which is that currently 98% of you watching are not subscribed to the channel, so if you like this video, please consider subscribing. It's free, and you can unsubscribe whenever you want. Anyways, let's get into this. Okay guys, so to start things off, I first want to discuss the most pressing question on many of your minds, which is when is Rocket League going free to play? Now I want to make it clear that Rocket League has not yet revealed an exact free to play release date, but I strongly believe it will go live by September 1st, and here's why. For those of you who don't know, on July 2nd of this year, Rocket League released a blog post stating that they would be extending Season 14 of competitive play. Specifically, in this blog post, they said they were hard at work on a major update for Rocket League coming later this summer. And they also said that they were currently extending the competitive season and Rocket Pass 6 to the live date of that update which we now know is just the free-to-play update. So, seeing as Season 14 is currently the longest Rocket League season ever, and that September 1st would mark the end of what would most people consider to be the summer months, I'd imagine they'd have to release the new update by that date. If they didn't, they'd have kept the community waiting for over two months, and while it is possible they'd do that, I think it's unlikely. Now another reason I think Rocket League will more than likely go free to play by September is because of the new update details they gave us in their recent blog post. If you haven't read this post yet, I'll have it linked in the description, but the main topic is how Epic Games is going to handle integrating all the different platforms under their new system. Now this information is really positive because it addresses one of my big concerns that I discussed in my video about why I was worried about Rocket League free to play, but I'll talk more on that later. When it comes to release date, this blog post gives me hope that free to play will go live by September because it's basically an instruction manual on how to link your new free to play account once the update goes live. And if you can see where I'm going, I doubt Rocket League would release a new guide on how to use the new update if that update wasn't coming soon. Like I said before, this is all speculation, but I am confident that more than likely Rocket League will be live by September 1st. Now technically summer doesn't end until September 22nd, so it is possible that Epic Games could make us wait until then, but I can't imagine they'd make us wait that long after announcing this update so long ago. Anyways, now that I've touched on details about the release date, I also wanted to talk about the new blog post and why it makes me optimistic about the free-to-play update. Now one big thing that they talk about in the blog post is how you can link your old account to Epic Games once the update goes live. So based on this graphic here, it looks like you'll have the option to select a primary platform and then your progress will be transferred to accounts on all the different platforms you use. Now this is good for a few reasons. For one, it means that Rocket League will most likely stay accessible on Steam. This means that one of my big worries, which was that people would be forced to use the Epic Games Launcher, shouldn't come true. These new details also mean we should still have access to custom maps in the Steam Workshop, and we should still keep third-party support to keep mods like Bacchus Mod running smoothly. Lastly, this new Epic Games account system looks to be good because it should protect against smurfing at least a little bit. I say this because when Rocket League goes free to play, people are going to be incentivized to combine all their account progress into one primary account on all of their platforms, instead of running, say, multiple accounts with different ranks. Now even though this is something small, and it's not perfect, and Epic Games will probably need to put more protections in place to deal with smurfs, this is still a good step in the right direction. Overall, this blog post makes me much more optimistic about Rocket League free-to-play than I was before. But that's not to say that things still can't go wrong. I could still see major server issues and smurfing problems surfacing after the update. But all in all, this new system looks to be good news for the current Rocket League community. 
And who knows, maybe Epic Games can bring over some of the good aspects from their games, like including more mainstream personalities in the Rocket League community, and running events that get a lot of attention to the game, like they've done with Fortnite. I just hope they can do all that without having to barrage us with their cosmetics or notifications to buy the Rocket Pass. Like I said though, this is definitely a step in the right direction, and it gives me hope for how Epic Games is going to run Rocket League post free to play. But before the video ends, if you're new to the channel and don't know about the monthly giveaway I do, then this is the part of the video where I'll talk about that. Basically, at the end of every month, I pick a random commenter on my videos to be coached to GC by me. What this means is that if your comment gets picked, I'll coach you until you hit Grand Champion rank in Rocket League. So, if you want to enter for a chance to win, all you have to do is leave a comment below with your rank in Rocket League. Anyways though guys, if you did find this video interesting, all I ask is that you leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. That's all I've got though, so thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.